chat. How do you feel about Pluck? Did I do Pluck? I almost feel like I did Pluck on the first one. Whoa. Hey, this actually has really good music. Okay, so yeah, your standard platforming fare, but you have like a fucking fist. Why, wow, you can shoot your entire body. Hey, this isn't my flag. No, it's it's underpants. Captain Novelin's gonna need those. Get out of here, log. Yeah, but it's it's kind of amazing that you can shoot a bunch of your body and then you walk around without it to the point where you actually end up having to hop around on your torso. Shigeru Miyamoto liked this game? Oh. Apparently this was one of the inspirations for Yoshi's Island. Forgotten, but pretty good. Actually, not really forgotten. People in chat were excited when I said I was playing Plock. Vinny, Miyamoto said the first time he heard this music, he didn't believe the Super Nintendo made the games the same sound, so he had to had had to have the game checked. There it is. That's interesting. Did you know that when Miyamoto played this game, he had the idea for the N64 all in one moment? Oh, he that's also when he conceived Breath of the Wild. Like almost a full, you know, 25 years before Breath of the Wild. It's, it was said that when M Miyamoto saw Plock, he had the idea for the Xbox One and PSVR all at the same time. It was like one of those watershed moments for gaming. All right, I'll stop. It was fun for a minute. I enjoyed that. But no, I believe that the music probably inspired Miyamoto because it's really good. There's a- there's a- oh, Benny, you should get to the first boss. Uh, I'll try. I'll try to get through this level very quickly. Without dying! Of course, without dying. Got it. I should point out that the, um... Adventure thing I'm playing a little bit later. You know, talk to Transformer? Okay. Kinda combine that... ...with like a text-based adventure game. Go east, go west. Why do the trees have assholes? That's where the maple syrup comes from. Next level? Let's see. Who said next level? Got your name in mind. If it's not next level, I'm gonna have to, um... I'm gonna have to give you 100,000 points that you can waste. I, I do like that it turns nighttime. There's a fucking flamethrower in this game? It's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Simulator. Yeah, those trees kind of do look like asses a little bit. Thanks for, um... ...pointing that out. Alright, let's just check out the, um, the music. This is what people want to hear, I think, right now, right? So, here we go. <laughs> Ooh. This is pretty good. I can see why Miyamoto... Oh, oh my god. I can see why Miyamoto wasn't sure if this was real. It just- it doesn't make sense that this is the game it accompanies.
like the game itself is good. I like the game. It just this sounds so much better than the game. Hang on a minute. Plock. Voice crack. Beach theme. Here we go. Look up the Plock soundtrack if you want some good music. Tim Follin is a goddamn genius for being able to do this on the SNES sound chip. Really utilizing the technology. Well, shit, what do I do now? Just play music? Okay, 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 okay. That's a minute of that. And then this is Pictionary for the NES. He also did the soundtrack to this. Yeah, it sounds like I'm about to crack a program. All right. All right, about to crack Photoshop. Note, this is a joke. Not actually doing that. Twitch admins. The Note, this is a joke. 